Hey Weed Demers, it's Sal, and I heard that you're looking to get better performance out of your Ambernick RG503. What a coincidence, so am I. You let me know when you find that out. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear But if you are here looking to get better performance out of your Ambernick RG503, let me show you a couple of things that I've learned from much smarter people. Let's take a closer look. The RG503 out of the box runs okay, but it does struggle with some of your higher end consoles and the occasional hiccups with some of the lower end stuff. Now we can't make it run perfect or even fix all of the issues, but we can by tweaking the settings, make it run a little better. First, let's change some general settings. Go into the main menu by pressing start, head into the game settings, change game ratio to core provided, set smooth games to on, rewind to off, auto save on, and integer scale to off. Now let's dive a little deeper and change settings for a few consoles specifically. We're gonna go into the main menu. Game settings, per system advanced configurations, and we are going to make the following changes. For Game Boy Advance, we are going to turn smooth game off and then set integer scale to on. Make sure you change these settings in every emulator that you want to have integer scaling on. Nowadays, most emulators are capable of integer scaling, but the 2D consoles such as NES, Genesis or Super Nintendo are widely supported on a variety of dedicated emulators. When you're in a game that runs RetroArch, press F plus B. Didn't work. I guess you can set this button as a hotkey, but for me, out of the box, select and B brought up the RetroArch menu. This will bring up the quick menu and select close content. Select the settings menu, video, video filter, and put it to normal 2x. Now you want to go into the main menu, configure file, and save file. Now you might find after changing the video filter to normal 2x that some of the NES games might suffer performance a little bit. To fix this, go to the system main menu per system advanced config and turn off the smooth games. Now open a game such as Star Fox and enter the RetroArch quick menu. Go to the settings tab, video, and then remove the video filter. Go into the main menu, quick menu, overrides, and save content directory override. Moving on to your higher end emulators, PS1, N64, Dreamcast, and Sega Saturn. The RG503 doesn't come preloaded with Sega Saturn games. I wonder why that is. And it's basically because it runs okay when the settings is modified. Go into the system's main menu, game settings, per system advanced configurations, and turn smooth game off. When you have a game loaded, enter the RetroArch quick menu by pressing select and B, go to settings, video, and remove video filter. Don't forget to save by going to quick menu, overrides, and save content directory override. Keep in mind, changing the settings in the Sega Saturn emulator might be challenging. For some reason, there is a controller lag or even occasionally a complete freeze. Let's take a look at a few PSP settings that won't make the PSP run at full speed on the Ambernick RG503, but will make it run a little better. Just a little? We have God of War, Chains of Olympus, which has always been a struggle to run on Chinese handhelds. Ooh! 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 No bueno. To enter the PPSSPP menu, press select and B. Once you're in the menu, select settings, turn frame skipping to two. I pushed it to three and experienced some freezing, so I would stay with two. Forced max FPS to 30, auto frame skip on, and rendering resolution to 2x PSP. In combination with the RG503 per system advanced config settings, the game does get less choppy. The FPS doesn't seem to be hugely affected. <laughs> These are 
other settings that I've learned from other reviewers such as Retro Game Corps and some others that I have discovered by tweaking the settings myself. The only other option for getting better performance out of the RG503 is custom firmware, which most are in development but work fairly well to suck as much performance out of the RK3566 chip in the RG503. I plan on taking a closer look at Arc OS in a future video, so if you're interested in that, you know what to do. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. Hold, hold on. Oh, Don, you forgot your call to action, and they say that that's a must. Social media and feature product links are in the description down below. For more great gaming content, check out the We Deem Gaming Community Facebook group for exclusive unboxings, DIY projects, and to share your valuable gaming content as well. Ta-ta for now. What the f***? You are such a f tar. That was, that was just ta-ta. Ta ta for now, really? Ta ta for now? Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.